Hi, I'm Stephen, EasyTrack Sales Manager. Welcome to this live glimpse of EasyTrack demo. EasyTrack has been developed by Oaro based on a 10 year experience in virtual production and camera tracking. It processes not only camera tracking, but also object and talent tracking. The system targets the growing market of virtual studio for TV, movies, live corporate events, live entertainment, and commercials. EasyTrack has been meant to be designed as a first ever hub for camera tracking. Easy to set up solution with a good value for money as it starts from 10k euros. By default, Lighthouse, but also Anti-Latency, OptiTrack, Vicon, and others. Always with our in-house processing of lens data, image sync, tracking of our IP. It is also the perfect solution to transform a fixed PTZ camera to a mobile camera on a crane or dolly. The magic about EasyTrack is that it works with any kind of camera moves, even 6 duff Cranes, dollies, steadicams. Of course, it works on a green screen and latest XR Studios. Before switching to the live demo, we'd like to say that our team pays particular attention to supporting our clients, also with the assistance of our network of integrators worldwide. Please note that our team masters the world virtual production workflow, from camera tracking, lens calibration, to all the integrated services to set up your studio. So let me end over the speaking to Timothy, EasyTrack Technical Director. Hi. My name is Tim, I'm a CTO of OR company and we designed the product uh, EasyTrack, the camera tracking uh, hub. So a complete setup like this one takes along two hours to do and when it's done, it takes less than 10 minutes to recalibrate it. So today we use a combo EasyTrack plus a Lighthouse technology. So we have the tracker from Vive and Best Station from Vive also. But we also have other combo. For instance, we have EasyTrack plus anti-latency combo and we're also compatible with other technologies such as Vicon, Qualysis, um, OptiTrack, Intel Wilsons, and we also have some input to handle uh, PTZ from Panasonic to do some hybrid tracking. So this is the tracking uh, camera hub we designed, EasyTrack. It sends the data, tracking data to the render engine over a network cable over there, directly to the render engine. And you can also sync this uh, box so you are sure the tracking data are very uh, genlock uh, with the same sync as your camera. Uh, we also have an input for the lens. So in this uh, specific setup, we deal with uh, broadcast lenses. So we can connect to Canon, Fugenon, even Ingenieux, Preston, uh, Cook also. And if you don't have this kind of lenses, uh, we also have some specific gear you can attach with rods along your lens and we can uh, get the raw data of the lens with an external encoder for the zoom and the focus. And you directly plug this encoder to our box. So we get all the data about the lens. Uh, we also have some inputs, so four USB for the trackers. So generally in the Lighthouse plus Easy Track combo, we have uh, three trackers included. One is designed for the camera, plug in USB to the box. And you, you can have also two other wireless. One is to calibrate your studio as a tool and the second one is a spare, or you can use it as an object to track uh, talents, for instance, you want to track in, uh, in your augmented reality uh, setup. So inside the EasyTrack bundle with the Lighthouse, we also put in the kit a specific rig uh, with cheese plate, rods bar, and clamp. So this way you can attach your EasyTrack to your camera, and also it's very important, you attach very rigidly the tracker to the camera. We design a specific mount so in this way, the tracker is aligned directly with the optical axis of the camera, and it's very easy to compute the offset between the tracker and the camera. So to sum up, every process is done inside the EasyTrack hub. So we get the data from the lens, external encoders or broadcast lenses. We get the data from a 3D uh, tracker, so in this case, the Lighthouse trackers, to get the data from the talent or the camera. And we sync all this data and we send it over IP to the render engine. Uh, each box can handle up to three objects or talents plus one camera. For setup with multi-camera, you have to add one extra box for each camera in order to get the data from the lens on the genlock. So now let's move to the web app interface. I will show you on the computer, so follow me. So this is the EasyTrack uh, web app interface. So we designed this kind of uh, web app in order to handle uh, the fact that some uh, studio, the control room, is very far away from the studio itself. So because everything is over IP, 
as long as you have access to a computer to the same network as the EasyTrack Hub, even your iPad, if you have Wi-Fi, you can access to all this menu. So I will show you now everything about this interface. So what we have here on the left panel is all the plugins handled by the camera tracking hub. EasyTrack is a camera tracking hub. We, um, we manage a different kind of technology to do the tracking, the 3D positional tracking. In the lighthouse, we can see all the devices connected right now. So we have three trackers, the camera plus two objects. And we also have three base stations today. This interface is about the referential definition. You have to define the, the zero of your studio. We will uh, come back to this later. Uh, over there, you have a 3D view to check in real time what's going on inside your studio. So for instance, here, you can check you have three base stations, two objects, and here, this is your camera. Okay. Here, for the camera rig, you have the, some offset you can define. I will also come back later to define the object between the tracking and the camera sensor. And then, at the end, you have the network configuration to send the tracking data to the render engine. So now we'll define the referential of the studio. So you have to select inside your studio, you have to put a mark on the ground to say, okay, this is my zero point. And you have to also to define a main axis for your studio. And then when it's done, we will use a tool, a calibration tool inside EasyTrack to align the EasyTrack referential with the studio referential. How to do it? Uh, go inside the interface to the re referential definition panel. And we have uh, three steps um, algorithm to do it. So put your tool, your tracker, on top of the zero points. So inside our studio, we put a cross with the orange step to, to materialize it. So Stefan put the tracker on top of it. And then on the interface, you click on set button. It's done. So then you take again the tool and you go on top of a point in the front line. Okay, it's done. I click on the button in the interface. And then the last uh, step is to put the tracker on top of a point on the right. I click on the set button again. Perfect. Then you can go back to the zero and you can measure the offset between the ground and the tracker. So in this setup, it's 0 0.24 on uh, 5 meters. And then I click compute and you see in the interface everything has moved and now the tracker the tool for calibrate is on top of the zero and you have the correct front direction and the correct right direction and the plane is aligned with the plan. Okay, so now we will define the camera offset. This is offset between the tracker and the sensor itself of the, of the camera. So inside the interface, you have to add a node, a transform node, and you have to give the measurements of the offset between the tracker and the sensor. So you take a tape measurement and you measure in the up direction, uh, the distance between the base of the tracker and the optical axis. So you go down, so you put a minus, and I know in this setup it's 0 0.24 meters. And then you also measure the distance in the front axis between the tracker and the sensor. And I know inside this setup it's uh, about zero, minus 0 0.21 meters. Um, for advanced uh, users, we also have a very specific method to compute the very fine pan and tilt details, but it's, uh, we'll see this in the advanced course. So now we have the offset between the camera and the tracker. So we have defined the two main offsets inside the EasyTrack Hub. The studio offset is done, uh, the camera offset is also done, so we are ready to send the data to the render engine. So to do that, inside the interface, in the camera rig, you go to the network configuration. You select Genlock. You want to send protocol freely. This is the main protocol inside the broadcast. You put uh, the IP address of your render engine, the port number, and then you click on Start. So for the purpose of this demo, we use the render engine Reality Hub from Zero Density. But you can also use EasyTrack with main render engine like Pixotop, Aximetry, uh, Vizarty and all the other render engines. We also have a live link plugin for direct connection with Unveil Engine. So let's switch to the IR camera right now with Stefan and let's move to a nice landscape. Well, let's do with the camera a pan tilt for instance on a small traveling right to, to left. Okay and go back to the zero. So we can move everywhere in a six degree of freedom with the EasyTrack system as we track everything. You can also zoom a bit to uh, Stefan, for instance, and uh, change the focus. 
uh, and uh, depending on the render engine, it will change also the focus of the, of the 3D graphics. You probably know that all tracking systems using optical data, um, you can notice some jitter, especially on long focal. So to avoid this with EasyTrack, we design specific uh, smooth filtering. And we also design an intelligent non-motion detector. It means when you don't move the camera, we completely freeze the tracking, so you can't have any jitter. Okay, so now we move to another air uh, scene. So we go to a basketball um, scene and uh, we attach a tracker on the back of the talent. So as you can see, you can move uh, front and back of the 3D objects because we detect the 3D position of the talent inside the 3D scenes. And as you can also see, we can do free uh, movement with the camera of EasyTrack because uh, we attach a tracker on top of it. So now let's go back to the green screen uh, studio. And uh, the last thing I want to show you is that because you have a tracking object, we can put some augmented reality on top of it, like a lightsaber, for instance. So thank you for your attention and uh, maybe you have some questions, so let's move to the Q&A session. So with a regular bundle, uh, it's track plus uh, lighthouse technology. You can track inside a volume of 10 by 10 meters. We advise to stay in 8 by 8 meters to keep very good uh, tracking uh, data. And if you want to extend your tracking area, you can move to anti-latency uh, core tracking system. And then, as long as you put any uh, markers on the ceiling, you can extend the tracking area. Yeah, it works with Green Suite Studio, of course, and also XR Studio. And if you already have some motion capture system like a Vicon, OptiTrack, or Qualysis already installed in your XR Studio, you can also use it inside the Z-Track to cope with uh, lens data. Yeah, it works with any camera as long as you have a gen lock input because it, it's very important for us to deliver very tracking accurate. So it means the timing is important, so gen lock is important. Uh, about lenses, if you have a broadcast camera with a Canon or a Fujinon, uh, we can directly plug a wire to this kind of lenses to get uh, the data of these encoders. We also have some bridge with the Ingenieur, um, also with the Cook lenses, especially the Eye protocol. Uh, we also work with Follow Focus from Preston. And if you have a prime lens or lens without not any, any gear, we can put some external encoders. You have inside EasyTrack two input, one for focus, one for zoom, and you can get the raw value of these encoders uh, inside uh, EasyTrack. Please also note that we can provide uh, lens calibration services to help you to, to deliver the best calibration uh, for your lens. So it works with uh, any lighting condition inside your studio. So it means you can change the lighting and it will not affect at all the tracking. So it's very uh, robust about this. Please notice also that if you use lighthouse tracking, try to avoid any reflective surface close to the camera because it will affect the tracking data. With the lighthouse technology, we have like uh, one millimeter uh, precision in translation and 0 0.01 uh, degree of precision in rotation. Uh, it's about the same with anti-latency. And please also note we have a very smart um, filter to smooth the data. We also have some state detection to remove any jitter when you are in static mode. Thank you, team, for your precision. If you have any other questions, please visit the website or you can drop us an email. Thank you guys for watching.